I am making a pizza um, for lunch today and uh, so this pizza is a little bit uh, unique in the way that uh, if you do not have uh, yeast and you still want a uh, delicious pizza so uh, this is a way to uh, try it uh, what I'm going to use uh, is uh, two cups of uh, bread flour one cup of uh, wheat flour and uh, I use uh, one teaspoon salt one tablespoon baking powder and I give it a good mix then I'm going to add a 12 ounce Yingling black pan beer. You can add the beer in all at once and uh, I do it this way gradually. It's also a way to uh, help me uh, make sure that uh, I don't get a uh, too sticky uh, dough. We all know that you know flowers are different. Now, if you chose different type of flowers, and uh, the amount of beer maybe a little more, a little less.
you can add the beer in all at once and uh, I do it this way gradually it's also a way to uh, help me uh, make sure that uh, I don't get a uh, too sticky um, dough. We all know that you know flowers are different. Now, if you chose a different type of flowers, and uh, the amount of beer may be a little more, a little less. I use the two cups bread flour and one cup whole grain wheat flour. So it gives me a dough, uh, relatively, you know, a little bit sticky, not uh, too sticky. dried flour in this dough. Uh, if uh, you want to make a uh, thick crust pizza, you can use uh, all of this dough here. If you uh, want a uh, thin crust pizza, Divide this dough into half. That's what I'm going to do today. Save half for later. You can put a, put a half of this in the refrigerator. It will be good for a couple of days. If I keep stirring a little bit, it will get a little bit of uh, smoother. Develop some. I use a 12 inch cast iron pan and uh, brush a layer of uh, oil to uh, prevent sticky. Make sure you get the uh, side of the pan with the oil as well. And uh, the dough is a little sticky, so I use a little water to help me uh, shape the dough into this pan. Use your hand, press from the center out to the edge. Add a little bit of uh, whole wheat flour to 
will increase the, the percentage of fiber. Which, uh, let's say, good uh, ingredient or element for a house. Let's do a slow bit, then later it will be easy to fill full at the bottom of the pan. And then now I'm going to heat uh, the oven to 450 degrees. I put the rack at the bottom position. Okay. Then a brush, a thin layer of oil on top of this. Uh, pizza dough here. I still want to push it a little bit so we have uh, some uh, nice little ridge at the side. Now, if accidentally you uh, made a hole at the bottom of the pizza, you can just move the dough around to seal that. Okay. And uh, then I put a uh, very uh, thin layer of uh, cheese first. And uh, it's also good to uh, use a fork to make a few uh, tiny little holes. So during the baking, it uh, can release some uh, air bubbles.
stone so it helps you to shape the edge a little better than a spoon. And I have uh, some uh, pizza sauce. Some people like a lot of pizza sauce. Myself, I like it to be just perfect. Not too much, not too less. Then I have some um, leftover uh, sausage. And I just uh, diced it and put some sausage here. Then I picked up some uh, uh, fresh wild shy in the backyard. So I washed it and uh, uh, chopped it very fine. So I'm going to just sprinkle a thin layer of that. some cheese and I also found a few uh, Morio mushroom in the backyard so I kept a few uh, small ones I'm just going to uh, throw a few of these little pieces here or there on the pizza They're beautiful and uh, very tender, tasty little things. Okay. And I have a little bit of uh, pepperoni. So I'm going to use this here as well. Let's put all this here. Finishing touch. That is a little bit more cheese. I use the shredded mozzarella cheese. And uh, you can try different type of. I used to use more cheese on my pizza. But now I'm trying to eat a healthier and a healthier. So I cut down the amount of cheese. And a little bit of touch of the bone. So once our oven is ready, we will bake it for about uh, 15 minutes
spilled bowl. And the cooked sausage, not as uh, dry as uh, I thought. And the edge of the dough uh, popped up. And uh, so far, looks really good. So I'm going to let it rest for a few minutes. Then I'm going to cut it and taste it. Wait here, pizza is ready. Not bad at all. Try it if you don't have a yeast at home. <laughs> mm. Good. Stay home. Be safe. 